A new law created an AI advisory council, and now we know exactly who's going to sit on that council. Will Dupree looked into what their work will focus on and how the state is already using the burgeoning technology. Logging on to the Texas WIC website, women with questions about the nutrition program may find answers by asking Maya the chatbot. More than a third of state agencies are now using artificial intelligence tools like this, according to a 2022 report. And now a new advisory council created by this law has a tall task. It's like the Wild West on this right now. You know, it's good to get organized early around this. Rahul Srinivasan studies AI policy and champion the idea of this council. The seven members will catalog how the state is deploying this technology and suggesting ways to better implement it in the future. There's opportunities, but there's also risk. That's their task in terms of balancing those two and figuring out how to move forward. While the group's work is only beginning, UT assistant professor and AI researcher Samantha Shorey hopes they'll look closely at the data generated by any tools used by the state. Data is so valuable. People have even said like data is the new oil. What we don't want to see is that resource being sold and potentially that having negative effects for the people that were just seeking out help from their government agencies. Will Dupree, KXAN News. And this new AI Advisory Council will be co-chaired by Republican State Representative Giovanni Caprileone and State Senator Tan Parker. They'll have to compile a report that's due on December 1st, just ahead of the next regular legislative session. Now, it could serve as a guidebook for policy proposals that may come up next year.